Hello everybody, this is Moses from Zatar Gardens and this is episode 187 of Gardening Well Edits. I'm going to show you an update for my cherimoya and my mango tree. Um, like I knew what happened, once it starts getting warmer, um, it's gonna push growth. And it's 91 a day, it was supposed to be 96. Tomorrow's gonna be 81. And next day I think it's gonna be 66 degrees and raining off and on during the week with thunderstorms in the low 70s, high 60s. I don't know what's going on. But with the heat, it did push growth, these plants. So let me flip the camera around. So there's the cherimoya. I'll get up close in a second. And here's another update on the mango tree that I thought that, well, I knew the other one died, the carry mango that's on the ground. Uh, I left it there. <laughs> that's how I remembered to take a film, uh, record another video. So I'm gonna, throw, I'm gonna throw it away right after this, uh, this video. So I'm, not, I'm not leaving a mess is what I'm trying to say. Um, it's just good that it was there or I would have never made a video regardless. So I'll show up close to the mango and the cherimoya and I'm going to show you a trick. Well, some or many may know, but some may not that are watching. So I'm going to show you a trick. So let's go to the mango and let me show you the growth. Now, this is within a couple days, how it pushed growth and made branches. So you can see right here, I'll link up an older video of this mango and you can see the growth from that point to this point, you can see how many things are growing, even all the way up. Any new ones that I didn't see? Right there. So the warmth really pushes the growth. Now, the tip that I'm gonna share, you know, it's not a, an amazing tip, but you know, if you don't know it, it will help. Um, the bottom nodes, so these bottom nodes, all of these going down. So you can see even more right here. Uh, one right over here. Regardless, going all the way down, they take up the first, you know, they, they, uh, first come, first serve. They have the best nutrition and the best, best hydration, etc. So if you remove all these little nodes from probably here down, you're going to have more growth going to the top you know, more hormones, growth, growth hormones, more, more everything, more nutrition, etc. So you want to do that. So you just basically want to take your, your hand and just break them all off, just like that. There's another one right there, that's it. Now I'll show you the cherimoya, same thing. And take a look how many flowers, this is the most, this is the most it's ever flowered. I'll try to see if I can find them all, but now watch, I don't, oh, see, there, there's two. I, I've never had even two come out in the same location. On average, it would push out maybe 10 to 20 a year. And now it's pushing out everywhere. There's another one. Boy, when they're really small, it's hard to see them. There's some more right there. Regardless, there's a lot more flowers this year. So there's some more right there. So like I said, a lot of flowers and new branches being grown. So the same thing with this. You don't want, I don't want any branches to grow down here so you can see what I'm getting at. So it goes all the way up here. Just go down, take them all off. That's all, okay? And they'll heal quickly instead of a big branch being cut like over here and it'll take time to heal over. These, these will just heal over in probably a week or two. So I gotta do more, look at that down there. So that's stealing a lot of nutrition. And that's actually longer. These branches are actually longer than what's on the tips of these branches. So those little branches there are actually longer. So now that, that's showing you that all the growth starts from below. All right, well, hmm, that's an interesting smell. It almost smells like a, a lemon branch that I cut, a lemon leaf. Regardless, great stuff. Beautiful, huh? So... Happy gardening, everybody. Bye.